everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this reverse easel card or reverse fold easel card. So if I bring it to the side, so I'm trying to keep it in its shape. See, it looks like that. So basically, this is a Z fold, an M fold, and it can be a normal easel card, but all you do is you just change the way you flip it, so you reverse it basically, hence reverse, and you just clip it in the same little kind of stopper that you would do. So again, let me bring it up so you can see all the lovely detail there. And then underneath, I've got a little message. This one says, to a lovely friend on your special day, wishing you happiness in every way. And then on the back there, I can write my little message as well. Or you could write it under there as well. It's entirely up to you, but I just like that hidden little note there. And um, yeah, absolutely adore this. So. The inspiration for this one came from Facebook and it was the Creative Stamping um, page and their editor, I believe, had posted this up and um, she didn't know what to call it. She said, oh, should I call it a diamond reverse easel? So I'll show you the way that she's done. She's just basically just moved the, a square and put it into a diamond shape. You can put any shape you want. The initial fold is the reverse fold. So I think a reverse easel card seems like the most appropriate name to call it. I really loved this one. This is using the current. Um, I don't know what that set's called. I don't actually have it, but I'll share the links to the magazine and everything just so you can check it out. But it's really, really cute. So that's what inspired me. So I'm going to bring in all of the stuff for this one. So I'm using stamping up products today because I did get these um, a while back and it's the Tropical Sheep chic tropical sheep <laughs> anybody know any tropical sheep um tropical chic stamp set and i've used this quite a lot i do really like it so i've got the stamp set i've got the matching dies which i've already pre-cut and done everything but they are really nice because you get the outer um die cut and then you get the inner d detail so for example that one there you can see i've cut out but you can also cut the whole thing out so if you've got a stamped image there you cut the frame of it out or you can have just the inside so that's really nice and then that's the paper pack as well I just got the six by six and um, well, I don't even know if it comes in any other sizes but they're really nice so I am um, yeah I got those and I'll send you I'll send you I'll put all the links to who I recommend you to buy through if you did want to and then if you are stamping up and you've got the products the colors I used was powder pink and gumball green they matched really well. I think that is the actual colour to match. The Gumball Green's a bit older, I believe. I'm not sure, but it still matched really well. So, hey, hey. Right. So instead of a square, this time I'm going to go for a circle. So I had a circle on the bottom, but I'm going to do a circle on the top as well. I quite like the look of that. Okay. So for your main card base, you just need a piece of 12 by 6. Okay. And what you want to do is along the 12 inch side, you want to score it 6 inches then flip it over and score it nine inches okay because what we're going to do now is flip it back over again fold your normal six inch fold in half I've already rounded off my corners there let's just make sure I burnish that but then this one you're going to fold back so by flipping it over and doing the right score line you won't get any cracking okay so now we have a Z fold card, we have an M fold if you have it that way. This one, you know, it's a really common fold. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep it in that orientation. And that becomes the reverse easel, because if this was a normal easel card, we'd fold that down. I don't want to do it because I'm, my card shouldn't crack, actually. There you go, I'll do it for you. That's a normal easel card, that way. So all we're doing is just flipping it that way, making a Z fold. Okay, so that's what you need to do there. Then you need to cut a piece of cardstock. Mine is five and three quarters by five and three quarters, and that's going to stick down there and go like so. Then I plan to have that down there, stamp another nice uh, message and have my stoppers. And then I didn't pick a card out yet because I wanted to see how it all looked, but then I'm going to have that. So mine's going to be that kind of look. I need to get a nice piece of paper behind the here. So this will be, whatever you have on this piece will be five and three quarters by two and three quarters. Okay, so I'm going to go and get that piece cut. And then what I've also got here is just a load of die cuts to create these kind of little 
clusters. So I've got one up there, I've put Winkostella already on it, I've got a little bit there, and then I've got my main stopper which is on some foam um, adhesive which I'll show you in a minute, and I've just done a little bit there just to continue that theme. So I'm just going to prep my card and get these bits all ready. Okay, so I've got everything stuck down, that's stuck down, and I've gone for this quite plain, it still matches because I, I plan on doing quite a lot of foliage quite a big cluster should I say so when you go to fold your topper or stick your topper down fold it all down flat and whether it's a square a diamond um, you know circle like I've got you just want to make sure you line it up as if it's um, in the center of the card okay so what I'm going to do is flip this over make sure I've got it because I've already put my sentiment on it's better if you don't at this point just so it makes it a bit easier for you to that looks straight. Just to flip it over, just so I know roughly, put a pencil mark where I want to put my glue. So all above there is where I want to glue down. So it's just about, just about half. As long as you've got enough on there to kind of just get it in place anyway. And this Tombow glue is really strong. Now I can just come and line that back up. Plus I've got a scarlet edge circle as well. I think it needs to be one that way actually. There we go, I've got a bit of wiggle room. That's better. Just mean it's uh, when it's flat, it looks nice when they open it. I was lucky I turned it over before it was going to stick because I've got some Tombow hanging over there. If you've used Tombow, you know obviously it gets very, very um, tacky. Let it dry. Once it's dry, use one of the these ones here. These are the um, Xyron um, adhesive rubbers. Um, so once that dries, although it'll still be tacky, this will take it off straight away and it will leave it all dry and nice and it won't damage your project. So that's that now, all down. And then I just want to start making my little kind of stoppers and clusters. So I'm going to do the stopper first. So I'm going to bring it up kind of just see where you want to put it so these kind of leaves I want kind of sitting within the circle for me so they're going to be like that so that's where they're going to go okay so I can just turn that over for a minute and then I've just got some of my little circles here let's do that one first and I'm going to be putting more things over these. I've got all these um, bits here. I've got these little flowers that I want to decorate. But I just want to show you the kind of basic bit. I can line that one back up because I know that that's straight. And then pop that one there. So you just need, your main stopper needs to have the foam. It needs to be elevated in order to stop and hold your um, easel in place. So again... It doesn't really matter which one's on top or over, as long as they're straight. So now, still need to have something else in the middle, but that stops that now. Okay, so then I'm going to have a pink flower up there. I'm going to build all of this, and then what I'm going to do is lay it down flat, and I'm going to be using some more of these up here. And you can like rip bits off so they really fit in, so now that sits in better. You want to keep it all within that square. Um, and take that one off pop that in like so and then I might have one down here but remember when you have the one down there you're going to see it so you might want to lift it up a little bit but that's all you want to do and then grab some more leaves kind of sit them in but I really want to build it up I do want to have quite a lot going on because I do really like the look and the effect this gives so I'm going to play around with this now and I'll show you what I've done that's the top there so I've really filled it right the way around the top of the circle and then there's the stopper so I've just got a little cluster there and then it sits in there perfectly and it looks so lovely so I'm just now going to go over everything with my Winker Stella if anybody hears this a lot doesn't know what it is this is the clear 999 and it basically just you just brush it over and it um, just leaves a lovely shimmer, a lovely glitter on your, well, whatever it is that you want to kind of highlight. And it's just lovely for when it catches the light. 
I've gone through loads of these. I, I couldn't even tell you how many of these I've had. <laughs> but if I just um, try and get it to catch the light, I think it's picking it up on those flowers there. And it just, and you can layer and layer. So even, you know, once it's dry, you can go over it again and just make it more intense. Um, and they do tons of different colours, loads of different, uh, um, you know, different glitters and stuff um, in the collection. So again, I'll share links to all of that. So there you go. I might put some more on. I don't know. It dries pretty much instantly. Then this here, this Nouveau, is a perfect match for this um, kind of collection. For that, um, what one was it here? Powder pink colour. Then I'm just going to do a couple of. I always like to do like different, three different sizes, little cluster together, and it will find its own way. So don't like play around with them. Literally, just do that and, and move on. Don't um, don't do uh, like start going back into them and stuff because they will naturally, you know, form a, a little dot. I think that'll do. And then I'll probably do something. No, I don't think it needs anything on the bottom. Again, these initially, the, the outer layer dries very quick with the Nouveau. But then you've got to allow it, obviously, to dry throughout. So they do advise, I think, 24 hours. However, within, like, maybe, yeah, 24 hours. But after even a couple, they're pretty dry. Depends how thick you do them. I tend to always go pretty crazy with mine, as you can see. So there you go. Pop that back in there. I think it's gorgeous and I love that it all folds down into a 6x6 six six size. So I've just got to add my piece on there which is the same size as this. So you just need a white piece that is 5 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters. Just stick that on the back. But it's just a really quick tutorial. It's dead easy to make. I just wanted to really inspire you with the decoration more than anything. Um, but I love it. So thank you Creative Stamping Magazine. See, I love our uh, British magazines. We get so much inspiration from them. And I just think it looks brilliant so that is my take on it so I hope you like it the reverse easel card bring that one in as well and I just love these papers so there you have it so if you've enjoyed today's please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye